All right, guys, no intro video here. We'll just get right into it. So we got a mixing bowl with a clean cheesecloth. Uh, we also have a our grater here, as well as a large white onion with the root left on. This will help keep things together while we're grating. So I like to use the fine grater side versus the coarse side. Um, I think that helps incorporate the onions and the flavor throughout all of the beef. So we'll go ahead and grate the entire onion. Okay, once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and squeeze out all that extra juice that you see there. So we'll just wrap the cheese clock like this and then just give it a nice squeeze. Make sure you get all the juices out of there. Okay, once we're done with that, you can reserve that for something else or just toss it if you'd like. Okay, we'll go ahead and dump out our onions. And you just want to make sure that you get all the pieces that are stuck to the cloth as well. It's a lot of good flavor there. Okay, once that's done, we'll go ahead and start adding our ingredients. We have a teaspoon of salt here, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of turmeric. And then we'll go ahead and give that a mix with our hands. Make sure everything is incorporated. You want to make sure that we get a nice cohesive paste just like this. Okay, now we have our ground beef here. This is a 70-30 mix. Uh, this is perfect for the kebabs. Um, anything above that, more lean, would make the kebabs a little bit too dry. Um, so we'll go ahead and add one egg, and then we'll add our onion mixture to it as well. Make sure to get everything out of there. Then we'll use our hands to just kind of squeeze everything together, make sure everything is mixed completely. Okay, once it's all nice and mixed, we'll go ahead and um, add some plastic wrap around it. We'll pack it down just like this. And then we'll set that in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. All right, and after about 30 minutes, we'll go ahead and take our skewer that we got from the Middle Eastern store. We also have a bowl of warm water here. We'll dip our hands in that. And then we'll grab a large handful of the beef What I like to do is kind of toss it in my hand to get everything nice and compact. And then while I'm doing that, also shape it into a cylindrical form. Okay, next what we'll do is cut the cylinder in half with the skewer, kind of like that. 
And then we'll also use our thumb and index finger to kind of form the meat onto the skewer. What works best for me is to evenly distribute all of the beef onto the skewer first before we shape it. So something like this. And then after that, we'll go ahead and use our thumb and index finger to start making indentations. Just like this. You'll flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. And just reshape things as you need. Your indentation should be about an inch apart. Okay, once you have something like this, go ahead and form the rest of your skewers and head on out to the grill. So here we have a nice bed of hot charcoals. We're going to go ahead and start off with uh, two skewers just to see how things go because sometimes they can fall off the skewers so you want to make sure that you catch the meat before it does fall into the bed of charcoals. You want to flip these about every 30 seconds or so. Okay, this is from our second batch, and uh, this is the type of uh, char and color that you're looking for on your kebabs. Okay, once that's done, we'll go ahead and take those off, and then we're going to add our tomatoes to roast. So we're going to kind of adjust our charcoal here just to get more even heat on the tomatoes. Make sure you wear a glove while you're doing this. You can see we're already starting to get some good char marks here. Okay, once your tomatoes start looking like this, they're just about done. So we're going to take those off. And now for our plating, we have a nice bed of basmati rice here. We also have some ground saffron. So we're going to use the back end of our spoon to scoop just a small amount. And that's actually going to go into a hot cup of water. This is about two tablespoons of water. So scoop that in there, let it brew for a couple of minutes, and then we'll give it a good stir. Okay, once you get to about this point, we're going to add some reserved basmati rice to that water. And give that a good mix.
Okay, once that's mixed, we'll go ahead and add it on top of the rice and a little bit of a mound. So right in the center, just like this. Okay, after that, we'll go ahead and start adding our kebabs. And you'll want to start from the top end and just pull down just like that, just to break it loose and then push up from the bottom. And then everything should release from the skewer. You just want to be careful because they are a bit fragile, so um, they may break a little bit. This one split just slightly. And we'll do the same thing for the others. Start at the top, pull down. And then from the bottom, just pull up while pulling the skewer out. And then we'll do one more. Okay, after that we'll go ahead and add our roasted tomatoes. You can plate this however you'd like. I like to have the charred sides up. Okay, I think that looks good. Next, we'll go ahead and add some herbs that we got from the garden. This is some fresh mint and basil. It goes really well with the dish. So we'll set that off to the side. Next, we'll add some limes. And after that, we'll go ahead and add our raw white onions. That goes really well with the dish. Okay, and lastly, we'll add this ingredient called somak. This is an ingredient that gives the kebab a little bit of a tangy taste. So we'll add just about a teaspoon over all the kebabs. All right, guys, and that's it. There's your chilo kebab. Enjoy.